Okay, guys, still in the afterglow of what I thought was just an amazing WrestleMania. So I, I thought it might be fun. I, I, my two big moments were, well, two guys who I just absolutely love in the business was Undertaker showing up when, when that gong hit. Man, I, I, I have no problem admitting it. I like turned into a little kid. I got so excited when, when I heard that gong and felt the same when R-Truth finally got his big WrestleMania moment. And uh, him and Miz grabbed the tag title. So, in honor of that, I thought we'd watch this video together. It's from Burn It Down as the channel. It's just a collection of our truth making people break. And I, I just, I love this guy. And the comedy spots are obviously a big part of it. He's just an amazing wrestler all the way around. So, let's, let's watch R-Truth. had some of his most amusing moments people. on Raw Talk. Charlie Caruso and R Truth were oh, yeah. hosting the show at that point. Yeah. I've seen some With of these clips. He was so good on here. Well, it was not easy surprising. to imagine things quickly turning comical. In a specific episode, AJ Styles found himself caught up in R Truth's comedic antics. Despite AJ sticking to his <laughs> trademark catchphrase, the house that AJ Styles built, R Truth playfully asked if AJ had also constructed condos and other structures. I don't think I'd have a chance in hell of keeping a straight face in a interview situation with with our truth around understandably aj had a hard time holding back his laughter during this light-hearted exchange let's go condominiums and duplexes yeah, that's a, that's and fine. things like uh like two three what what are you what are we doing did here? you not build the smackdown house it's the house that aj styles built but it doesn't mean i actually built it <laughs> today without aj styles is what I'm talking about. did you did you not build the smackdown house pay attention aj you said it bro <laughs> That's great stuff. That's what I said. When I, I, so I you built. didn't build it. Dog, I'm going to ask you for a card or something. Oh. <laughs> I was going to ask you for a card or something. <laughs> <I'm> a, <laughs> yeah, good point, Truth. I mean, you never know when you're going to need some home repair work done. The guy can build a whole SmackDown. It's a trademark of our truths <laughs> WWE persona. It's the comedic cloud of confusion that follows him everywhere. I love it. This guy is in a perpetual... And the thing was, too, at, at the end of my career, because I'd had all, all the concussions and taken all the chair shots, I was doing a similar thing, you know, with the, with the just, as he said, cloud of confusion, so I can identify... State of bewilderment. And it's not just limited to mixing up words. The hell is Sometimes that one? it's a full-blown comedy of errors. Take the Royal Rumble <laughs> in 2016, good. for instance. That's <laughs> like the way he took off Our with the belt. Our music blares, signaling his entrance. He sprints down to the ring, yanks a ladder from underneath, and goes for the non-existent money. In yes, the I, oh, I love that one. Fans, announcers, and even fellow superstars were all left scratching their heads. <laughs> that's such that's such a brilliant bit too. Such a to to come up with something that is just so out of nowhere Xavier like that. Woods, in particular, was outside the ring convulsing with laughter, <laughs> wondering what on earth was going on. <laughs> Xavier Woods is an underrated wrestler too. <laughs> You're the man, Truth. <laughs> the peak period in R Truth's extensive career occurred when he teamed up with Carmella. Their partnership originated during season I don't remember two of the, the match challenge. I don't remember that. And their uh, evident wig. chemistry led to an extended collaboration. <laughs> During the transition from Ms. TV to Truth TV, the dynamic duo's inaugural guest was Daniel Bryan. Even one of the greatest wrestlers in history found himself taken aback and amused by their antics. Mm, yeah, especially when R Truth and Carmella <laughs> Bryan's losing it already. <laughs> spontaneously took a dance break. <laughs> this is outrageous. You guys have dance breaks on the show. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. <laughs> from True TV for life. This is my chance break. Here we go again. <laughs> Shayna Baszler, also oh, known man. as the Submission Magician, appeared on Raw Talk expressing Shana, frustration. What do you guys think of Shayna? She seems like, you know, and uh, like a lot of you guys, you enjoy seeing anything backstage with the wrestlers and stuff like that. Everything I see, she seems like such a sweet person, doesn't she? 
I think her the only thing holding her back, I believe, is she's she's not not strong on the mic and not strong with charisma because she certainly can work. Being sidelined in catering instead of dominating in the ring. Shayna's complaint about catering wasn't entirely <laughs> unfounded. She went on to gripe about the catering food, but R Truth, in disagreement, praised the fish and playfully accused her of neglecting tartar sauce. Oh, what's that? What this is? unexpected exchange <laughs> caught Shayna off guard, prompting <laughs> laughter and sparking an amusing feud between Truth and Shayna over condiments. Uh, the fried fish over, they had was pretty good. Over man. condiments, that's that's the best. When you when you can get some real heat over condiments, you're, you're working right. If I may add, you probably didn't put no tartar sauce on it. <laughs> what kind of a person eats their fish with tartar sauce? Cocktail sauce is used for shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Shayla trying to hold it, hold it together. Oh, wait, 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 let's, let's, come on. <laughs> Our truths perpetual befuddlement with the money in the bank ladder like match it. is a recurring comedy show. Yep. From worrying about a briefcase full of spiders to mistaking a royal rumble for money in the bank, Truth's confusion has its own highlight reel. <laughs> However, the pinnacle of his hilarious... This kind of stuff, because I love doing comedy spots, and as I said, near the end of my career, I was doing these types of comedy spots. I have some tape of it. I'll, I'll make a video of it for you guys. Um, just makes me miss the business. Mix-ups occurred more when Corporate Kane passionately hyped up the upcoming money in the bank match to Dolph Ziggler and Roman Reigns. In oh, this is one of my fashion, favorites. He confidently I, stepped my out, bad. <laughs> ready to declare his money in the That's bank intentions. Me. Except he wasn't even supposed to be in the match. <laughs> Ziggler and Reigns couldn't contain their laughter, leaving a dumbfounded Kane to wonder what just face unfolded. Right there. I conquered my fear in ladders. The truth is going to do in money in the bank. You're not even in the match. This, this is on me. Kane, Kane, my bad. Kane, my bad. <laughs> and off he goes. <laughs> oh, and of course, the whole thing, you know, with uh, the the matchup mania with the hot tag <laughs> during a in ladder the match. Of WWE, it's like Vince's unwritten law that having <laughs> hulking me. athletic giants is the key to filling those seats. The top dog in this colossal lineup, none other than the Big Show. Crossing paths with him is like poking a sleeping bear, <laughs> but there are always daredevils up for the I challenge. I miss Big Show. I, I like having him around. In one epic moment, Show went on a face-punching rampage. I think they always used him as well as they could have. But our truth decided to fake a knockout on the mat. Oh yeah, yeah. We the camera watched, wisely I, looked away. I can watch these over and over and with truth. But laugh. I, I, <laughs> and they call him confused he did the right thing much just just take care of business yourself don't that giant ham hock of a fist come at you ever wondered why our truth gets truth to play in the thinker. creative sandbox more than other superstars well it turns out vince mcmahon not only likes truth but also trusts him not to turn the ring into a circus most of the time at least a few years back during an old school throwback promo between Vince and Stone Cold Steve Austin, I don't think I, Truth oh, I don't strolled in dressed one. as a Confederate soldier, oh, declaring no. he was pulling a WWE Universe Brexit. Vince played it cool, but Stone Cold lost it, and the camera wisely cut away as he started cracking up. <laughs> I, I'm sorry to Big Jimmy. I'm sorry to Little Jimmy. <laughs> so little Jimmy. Up like a damn jackass. <laughs> Virginia. There goes Stone Cold's losing it. <laughs> the capital. I've been a victim of a company-wide conspiracy. Ain't that right, Mr. McMahon? <laughs> In the kickoff of Mixed I, I had never Match seen that one before. Our truth and Carmella were struggling, but the fans loved the duo. Suddenly, they began winning matches, proving that maybe WWE finally tuned in to what the fans wanted. The grand prize was a luxurious vacation anywhere. I don't remember and this to Carmella's either. dismay, Truth chose WWE headquarters in Connecticut. Oh, <laughs> he, chose, he chose Stanford. I've been there. Not just the Stanford, to the WWE headquarters. We came through there a few times in, in uh, different things we were doing. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's cool to see the building. Would not be on my 
topless. It, it wouldn't supplant Disney World for me. Their escapade to Stamford involved vacation. scripted bits and spontaneous truth shenanigans, leaving Carmella in stitches and breaking character more than once. WWE headquarters in Stamford, Connecticut! Yeah! We the rebels everybody wanna talk about. We stay up all night and call. Hi. Hey. <laughs> what is this? What are you? Why are you here? This is the studio. What are you doing here? Go back down. 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 I I never saw I never saw those either. <laughs> in the covert scheme against him, our truth found himself competing in a Money in the Bank ladder match. No, I don't. Think, alongside I, I've heard about this like whole Evan thing with Bourne spiders, but Kingston. I don't think I saw this. However, what made this situation peculiar? wasn't the match participants, but our truths and What a good time. Expressing his fear of heights, he rambled about acrophobia, demanding no spiders in the match or the briefcase. <laughs> Amidst the confusion, <laughs> Truth mistakenly referred to acrophobia as the fear of spiders, while it's actually <laughs> arachnophobia. Acrophobia, y'all! What? That I'm afraid of heights. Oh, that... Not one spider oh. on this ladder. <laughs> I told you. I told you. <laughs> the grits gonna hit the pan. <laughs> the Brock Lesnar, hit the, pan the Beast indeed. Incarnate, <laughs> isn't exactly famous for cracking jokes <laughs> in the ring. But every now and then, he reveals a more lighthearted side. Paul Heyman, the mastermind, apparently took a bet that our truth couldn't make Lesnar break character. This is one of the all-time greats. I've seen this a bunch of times. And again, I enjoy it every freaking time. That's when you know, to me anyway, well, something's Truth took the challenge a true head classic on. moment. During one of their in-ring promo sessions, he mm -hmm. barged in declaring he'd beat Paul Heyman in the Royal Rumble match. Heyman quickly corrected him, pointing out that it was Lesnar entering, not him. <laughs> Truth promptly backed out of the match, leaving Lesnar in stitches, laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> Man! You will go flying over that top rope, Paul Heyman. <laughs> Look at Paul. <laughs> Paul's always good. Leave him alone. Breathe. Breathe. There you have it, guys. Times our truth made others Breathe. break hilariously. Oh, I, I love this guy. And and again, you know, truth is in his fifties. Nobody knows better than me. What a bitch father time is so to see him get a big wrestlemania moment like that it does it it actually chokes me up a little bit when you follow somebody when you enjoy their work so much and you see them get a payoff like that it really makes you feel good what a great dude